begins. Okay. This is obviously the third game in the series, not played the first two. This was the most graphically pleasing, and it was only a fiver on goodoldgames.com. Recommend goodoldgames.com. Yeah. Um, <laughs> been playing this game a bit recently because it's Halloween. Um, it's not very good. <laughs> Cthulhu. We're going to start with the graveyard because it was Halloween yesterday. I, uh, I've only managed to do one of these and it's that, so uh, that's where we're going to start. <clears throat> Very nice. Good evening, sir. Text moves too fast. Very jaundiced. Would you like? Would you be so kind to enter? Why is he off stream? I don't know. Welcome to your uncle's box, folks. I'm his assistant. Please, may I have your ticket? Okay, and because it's the uh, reworked good old games version, I can put in any old crap, and we're in. Yeah, your uncle introduced me to give you this... Stop oh, I don't know the word. I believe it is an old family heirloom. I know your uncle always quartered it. Guarded it. Oh, it's Simon Pegg. At last, nephew, you have come. You and you alone can complete my life's work and rid our family of the witch's ancient curse. Within these walls, you will find that I have collected together the most evil of all the twins that have been... Ah! Speaking too fast, you must enter their worlds, fight and kill them, and destroy the power that feeds the curse. Then and only then will you be able to find a way to rid our family of this terrible curse forever. Is he saying elephant juice? So that you, so that you may fully understand this terrible curse, I've given the family's lawyer a very important letter for you. You should have read it before you came here. I think that's probably in the boxed version. Yeah. If haste has prevented you from reading it, I strongly suggest that you read it now, so that your understanding of what is before you is complete. So essentially, we won't understand most of the narrative, so we jump in. Uh, each exhibit within my waxwork bears a plaque, which, when read, will tell you something about the evils that await you. I'm so glad this is more or less all the text in this game. <laughs> oh Good my luck, God. and remember, I may be able to help you later. It will cost you. Communicating with the undead is a terrible draining effect on the psychic energy of a living human. Please enter the waxworks through the door at the end of the corridor. Very slowly. Uh, okay. And we're in the game. That's a banging party. <laughs> so I'll just have a wander around. Basically, when you start this game, um, there are four waxworks that link you to your evil ancestor twins. You have to go back and kill each of them. The four you can start with, well, the four in the game. Uh, there's a, an Egyptian one in the pyramid. Um, there's the graveyard one, which I think we're going to do today because I know it. Um, there's a Jack the Ripper one, which is crap. <laughs> Uh, and finally, some Cthulhu mind thing. So, um, we are going to start with the graveyard. Uh, with the graveyard. Not, not in 19th century London. Shut up. <laughs> well, it's Simon Peck. <laughs> You'll get that a lot today. He certainly will. Okay, um, right, this is the interface. Here's my guy up here. I'm a preacher man. I don't know what most of these icons do. This opens the, the compass, which is quite good. This lets me commune with Simon Pegg. Um, this lets me fight, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, this one's a maze, and I did do it the other day. I probably should have made a map, but I didn't. If I can remember, yes! Poor guy. Yeah, one of the preliminary things, one of the, one of the best things about this game is the grotesque death. So, um, what's that in his chest? A sickle. Ah. Oh. So I got something to pick up. So now I've got me a weapon because if you try and punch zombies to death, well, you know what? I will save here. I will save here. Um, these are all my saves. Um, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Okay. Return. <clears throat> let's go find the living dead. Or walk into a gravestone. But first, I think I remember an important item is... Okay, never mind. Okay, I think the axe is get out your weapon. No, that's a quick weapon. Oh man, we're gonna die. Alright, you know, I'm gonna equip my fists so that you can see how, well, what a death screen looks like in this. Because I know punching does nothing. <sighs> okay, down here is the hits on him, down here is the hits on me. My hit points are slowly going down as you can see, because I can't harm it with my fists. Fisting the undead. Oh! Yeah, no, they don't die. <coughs> yeah, this makes no sense. I mean, you take the head off, zombies always die. 
Yeah, yeah but this is in, this is a different zombie. Shut up. This doesn't make any sense. Hey! Oh. And because, you know, you kept <laughs> punching him, he ripped your jaw off. And took an eye. Yeah, but I like all this gruesome stuff down here and taking your jaw. And then this just, this crappy little bite. <laughs> yeah, one of them got a little too amorous. Play again, yes. Restore a game, same game, yes. Uh, Let's play. Let's play. Okay. Um, gonna make sure I have my sickle out this time. Yep. Plays the funky little music. Gonna kill some zombies. Okay. Um. Right, just because uh, I've played this before, if you don't, when you're punching the zombies at first, you'll be pissed off because you can't do shit. Even if you do have the sickle, you won't know what to do. And so you ask, uh... Sam and Feg. Yeah. I'm afraid I can be of little use against them magically, as there are a few spells which can harm a zombie. I can offer you some advice for combating them, however. Find something sharp to use as a weapon. Zombies are very difficult to kill, but they can be immobilized. With salt. If, <laughs> if you chop off their arms at first... Blah, blah, blah. They will enable you to, yeah, basically, you chop off the arms and uh, then you just poke them in the head till they die and they just sort of shuffle at you. Well, he says there isn't a magical way to <coughs> get rid of a zombie, but what about a, a phoenix down? Shut up. <laughs> what? That, that does work. Yeah. He's a phoenix down. Final Fantasy VIII. If that is taught as anything besides don't play shit games, which is what we're doing now, is if you use a phoenix down, a zombie is fucked. Yeah, but we don't have any. We don't have any feathers. Well, Got any tips for this place? I would advise you to make a map. Yeah, I, yeah. We're not making a map. I've done all this before. His dialogue's very long and helpful. So I've gone up a level. Hey! How did you do that? Because I'm awesome. Okay, I'll take his advice and I'll start by if you click at the sides here, you do a sweep. Um, he's just stood there. Okay, fine. We're going this side. <laughs> he's armless. And, and then, then you just kind of poke him yeah. till he dies. Not very well made these days. <coughs> hey, that was a lot quicker than usual. I rock. Yeah, no, I remember last time I played this, I had to find like a crowbar. So there's there's one bit of the fence sticking out, and you have to get it. And I have no idea where it is. So we may be here for a very very long time. I'm at the beginning. It's alright. I fear no zombies, I am the preacher man. No, I can see it, I saw it over there, but it's gone. You have to be at just the right angle, looking just the right way. I think. Because look, when I stand here, or here, okay, well, it was there. You're going blind, dude. Shut up, I'm fine. Look at the railings. The graveyard is surrounded by a cast iron railing fence. Awesome. Right, it's important now, is it? It is. I think it might be. If I go here and look that way, no. Is there <sighs> nothing else you can steal from the dead gardener? No, he's got nothing. You just nick the... The sickle. I don't know who stabbed him anyway. These are zombies. Who stabbed him? I reckon there was some sort of gas explosion and one just went flying and he was in the wrong place at the it, wrong time. It also raises the question, why is he not a zombie? Um... It's sever the spinal column. I think if we learn anything, doing that does nothing to a zombie unless you chop all its. Oh! Oh my god. Different looking. Oh yeah. Sweep the arms. No. Ah! No, okay, don't turn around when a zombie's twatting you in the back. He's strategically placed, so that statue behind him makes him look like he's got cat ears. Yeah, but you know, the way they let the, the graveyard's laid out, these all look really important, but no. None of these, you can't even look at them. See, I'm clicking, nothing. Don't look at me! <laughs> I went up a level again. I'm, ah! Right, okay. You yank it from its tether, and now I've got a crowbar. Can I use it as a weapon? No. A piece of the iron railing from the fence surrounding the graveyard. Children can get in now. Dude, we're like in a forest. Look at all that. <laughs> 